Hello, I'm Dan Elliott. I'm the president of the Lamar Institute. We're a nonprofit for archaeology and historical research and public education. I'm out here in Behavior Cemetery on Sapelo Island. We're doing a ground penetrating radar survey of a portion of the cemetery to try to uh, identify unmarked graves and areas that could be potentially used in the future for burial. And this is a ground penetrating radar machine. This is a Swedish model, the first model to ever have wheels. Um, it's about a $25,000 rig, even though it looks a little rough. It's had a lot of use. But, uh, it sends microwave radiation, or basically uh, like a cell phone signal, down on the ground on the front end of the little yellow box, and it waits uh, 80 billionths of a second for the answer coming back on the back end of the yellow box. And the echo that's created by the bouncing off of the, the dirt creates a signal, a radar beam, and it's those differences in, in uh, the radar beams that tell us where things are. Uh, differences in the soil caused by could either be caused by live oak tree roots or, or graves, coffins, uh, uh, gopher tortoise holes, and any kind of difference in the soil it's going to map it. And the trick is for us to figure out what the map means. Uh, and here it's pretty good because we have known graves that we can run over with the machine and see what graves are supposed to look like. And that way when we see an unmarked grave we'll have a, a better idea of what we're dealing with. Already I can tell you that there's an awful lot of unmarked graves out here, which I think most people mm -hmm. figured was the case. But we'll have a, a nice map of them when we're done. 